Solving Systems of Linear Equations by Graphing. Here we have two linear equations and we are going to solve the system. We look at the first and we notice immediately that it's in slope intercept form y equals negative 1x plus 0 if we want to write it out longhand which means that the y-intercept is 0 and the slope is equal to negative 1 over 1 or 1 over negative 1, depending on which way you want to do it, and we're going to do it both ways. So to graph this line, we start with the y-intercept, which is 0, and then we go down 1 to the right 1. And we can continue that. The alternative is we can go up 1 and then to the left 1. And if we've done everything right, since it is supposed to be a linear equation, we'll get a line. And it does. So, moving on to the second equation. It's also in slope-intercept form. That's convenient. Where the y-intercept is negative 4, the slope is either 3 over 1 or negative 3 over negative 1. To graph this, we start with the y-intercept, negative 4, so that's 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 4. Then the slope is up 3 over 1. I don't think we'll get a chance to do this because that puts us inconveniently off the bottom of the graph. So up 3 to the right 1. And if we've done everything right, should be a line. And it is a line. Now, there's one and only one point that is the solution to both those equations and is, when you graph them, on both lines, and that's right there. So the solution to the system of two equations in two unknowns is 1, negative 1. Let's try a little bit more complicated problem. The only thing that really makes these more complicated is that they're not already in slope-intercept form. But we should be good at fixing that now. And what we're going to do is add 3x to both sides. So we do that. Those cancel. It leaves us with y equals. Now being that those are not like terms, we can't combine them. The most we can say is 3x minus 1, which gives us a y-intercept b equals negative 1 and the slope m equals 3 over 1 or negative 3 over negative 1. To graph this, we're going to start with a y-intercept, negative 1, the slope up 3 to the right 1, down 3 to the left 1, and if we've done it right, we should have a line, and we do. Moving on to the second equation, same problem, we have to put it in slope-intercept form, the same solution. That leaves us with y equals 2x plus 1. The y-intercept b is equal to 1. The slope m is equal to 2 over 1, or negative 2 over negative 1. So to graph it, we're going to start with a y-intercept, which is 1. The slope up 2 to the right 1. I can think that's where it's going to cross. We can already see that, but to finish it off, down 2 to the left 1, down 2 to the left 1, down 2 to the left 1. And if we've done everything right, this also should be a line. And we can find the one and only point that's the solution to both equations that lies on both lines, and it's 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 5 is the solution to this system of equations.